come out to meet family today to do the eat, eat out to help out uh, meal or rishi dishes it's sometimes called so obviously you get 50% off your meal and we decided to come to Carnforth to do it you know go somewhere where we don't usually do um, so we thought we'd start here because Carnforth's history is really in the railways it's actually had a steam depot here and it had a roundhouse since the 1850s um, which is behind me in it always had quite a lot of traffic and then in World War Two as the Americans and the Canadians came over um, and we were preparing for the invasion of Europe it got major investments in it in 1942 which it was never used fully to its capacity but the good thing about that is it's actually now the only steam depot on uh, the UK railways that's still basically connected to the rail network and it's the home to West Coast Railways and if you actually see any railway tours in the Dales, in um, Wales or in Scotland they're all generally based and serviced from here um, so um, yeah it's an old railway for town this is the old railway club a lot of pla uh, uh, railway places had a railway club this one closed down last year Lancaster's actually still got one so I think we'll just go into town and go and see where we're going to have our uh, eat out to help out Done. We're just on the way to uh, where we've um, chose to have our meal. And this is a station. Now, Brief Encounters, the film, with the epic railway scene where, where they, uh, which we all know what happened. If you don't watch the film, because it's very dramatic and romantic and disastrous, whatever. <laughs> it was filmed here. So there is a heritage centre on um, the platforms in the middle which will tell you all about the railway history of the area also the history of the film so that's where it's worth actually a look at and on the on the first pl platform here it's got a model railway um, shop and no railway experience would be complete without real ale so it's got a small re real ale bar called the snug which is really 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 nice really 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 nice found out which I should know it should have known that by now brief encounters the film is uh, celebrating 75 years today checking my radio before we go and meet the family for the um, meal in the Royal Hotel Station don't have to tell you why it's called the Royal Hotel Station I think it's quite obvious now it's great here we're a bit higher than Lancaster and Morecambe so if you're in your car and you've got an FM station you, you will pick stuff up from the Isle of Man you'll pick 3FM maybe MG FM but probably not likely and Manx FM um, but the clearest signal for Manx around here is 13.68 a.m. At the moment, um, they're actually talking in Manx because they're trying to revive their, their language. And I don't understand any of it. But it does sound very, very similar, like Gaelic. It, it's within the same thing. And I'm sure all three languages, the, the, the Irish language and Scottish, they all... They all a lot of it kind of transfers through to Scotland. I'm, I'm no expert on language, but I find it very fascinating. 
other great thing that I found today as well is I found laser again on on shortwave. It was absolutely blasting a minute ago. It seems to be tuned, but I think their audio's gone. They must be changing, changing the tape or something. But if you heard any crackles on the the last thing that I, I played, that's because in the background you can hear the thunder. Thunder's coming from somewhere and that's where you can hear the crackles and the snap on AM and uh, shortwave bands. You won't hear it on FM bands, totally different. But when you hear that crack in the background, that is somewhere thunder and lightning. Smart speaker online and on AM and FM. This is Manx Radio. The news at six o'clock. Costa Mai, Miss Dolan Mercer. The island's reached 82 days without a new case of COVID-19. Three people are currently waiting for a test. Three people are awaiting results. Young people leaving education and entering the workplace on the Isle of Man need to ensure they have transferable skills. That's the message from careers advisor Andrew McKinley ahead of this week's A-level results day. Students will receive... Started the drinks with the family. They're a bit camera shy apart from this one. Yeah. Thomas Edward here. Uh, yeah. That's mum. Full up now, that was a really nice meal. Just come out of the back because you've got all the one way systems and stuff, and they've got a balcony up there and the beer garden here, and a nice connection to buses. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. So, and I've just been talking as the railway connection is in uh, Lancaster, I've just been talking to someone that used to work for the railways, and apparently, the BBC missed the last days of steam but Carnforth still had a steam engine so they actually got them to run, it, to run up and down the sidings and film it because they'd missed the last day of steam so they kind of reacted it here whether that's folklore we'll never know but, uh, thanks for watching I've had a really nice night out and remember before you go up to lakes have a stop in Lancashire there's plenty to see <laughs>